Hi, I'm Miranda. I am a wedding photographer based in New Jersey and I just want to get straight to the point for you guys because I know why you clicked on this video is to learn how to make a GIF slash GIF, whatever you want to call it. So first things first, you're going to want to edit the images to be consistent in Lightroom. That's what I do. And then uh, once you finish editing all the images in Lightroom, you're going to go ahead and select all of them. And don't worry about auto aligning yet or worrying about the crop just yet. And then you're going to save them as an Instagram format just so they are a smaller size. And this is the example of what I do to organize my, full, my files, but you can absolutely type in whatever you want. And then just make sure that the sizing of the Instagram format is long edge at 1080. Export that. It's gonna create its own folder in an export folder and then you're going to open Photoshop. Create new and you're going to make it the, depending on the size if you're doing portrait or landscape, so I'm going with landscape. And you're going to open the scripts, load files from stack in the file tab. You're going to select those files all of them, yeah, to load in files. This takes a couple, sometimes about 20 seconds to upload. So be patient with this part. And I have my crop preview selection on, but it doesn't matter what you have. And you're gonna select all. And you're going to auto align under the edit tab. Auto align the layers. This takes a few seconds as well, so be patient with this too. Now some of them are going to be uh, showing you the background, so we're going to crop that out so they look all in one scene, you know what I'm saying? And crop it the way that you want. Next you're going to open the Windows tab to go create a timeline. Create frame animation and then make frames from layers. Select all because they will be in the reverse order most likely, so reverse frames. And then what I like to do is make them at one second. That's your sample. It plays. And I like to make sure it's a forever option as well. Uh, export save for web. And then, yep, save them. And I like to save it this way in case I put it on my website or anything like that. It is great for SEO purposes. So if someone was searching online for couples kissing in front of headlights, this may come up on their photo search. Now, usually with GIFs, GIFs or whatever, uh, I like to convert to an MP4 file so it's easier for uploading to Instagram, for example. So I just go to easygift.com to convert the GIF file to an MP4 so I have both options. I use this website all the time when making GIFs to MP4 so they've never given me a bug if you're worried about that. Easy peasy process right there. And you're all set that you've created your gift.